The title of this painting is We Are Making a New World. The date says it all. This was painted in 1918. Paul Nash had served in the trenches and then went back to be a war artist, and he was a war artist in the Second World War as well. Fascinatingly enough, this is one of his very first completed paintings. It's almost opus one of Paul Nash's output. Yet all the elements are there, and I chose that word carefully. The show is called Paul Nash, The Elements, and it's quite a complex idea. Paul Nash really painted landscapes and portraits of the mind, of how the mind worked. And his mind worked in a very particular way. He saw significance in particular objects or themes or aspects of a landscape. And he put these elements together in a way that meant something profound to him that seems to mean something to profound, profound to us, but we can never quite put our finger on what that meaning is. This painting, however, right at the start of his career, is not so complex. In a sense, it is a record, a mannered record, but a record of a particular battlefield. Um, this was known as Inverness Cops. The elements in this case may well be the ancient elements of earth, air, fire, and water. Nash thought about these things. We know that. In his writings, he mentions it. He was fascinated with the idea of these ancient elements from which the whole world was supposed to be made. And all of those elements, if you look, are there. We may think that fire has already passed through, but it's also present in the painting in the rising sun. Air, of course, is there, earth, and water down here. And it just occurs to one that the title may not be the bitter, ironic suggestion that we, as human beings, are supposedly making a new world. That is always the excuse for any war. We're making things better, we're making a new world. So much death and destruction is usually the way forward. It may be bitter irony, but if you think of we as meaning the subject of the painting, the dead trees, the earth plowed up by bombs, the water in the trenches, the rising sun, it may be a more literal interpretation. In other words, we, this landscape, the elements contained within, within it will create a new world willy-nilly, independent of human intervention. The trees will grow again, the earth will flower again, the sun will bring back life to a dead landscape. After the Great War, Paul Nash suffered a nervous breakdown, and he suffered illness throughout his all-too-short life. He died at 57. This great painting stands as a pillar at the beginning of his extraordinary career.